Welcome to an episode of uh, Wolfman Podcast starring the Wolfman himself. I'm just his co-host today because we got a bit of an emergency as uh, people have been addressing to my channel specifically. It uh, involves the Wolfman and, uh, you know, my name is Wombat, so here's the uh, case. Welcome to the new podcast, Wolfman and Wombat. This is your homeboy, Wolf- Wombat. Wombat, Wombat, Wombat. All right. Yeah, okay, so... I mean, we, this, I mean, it's not much of an emergency because we should be recording anyways. But I your, guess this episode. Your fans like think it's an emergency. Everybody's kind of freaking out about it. <laughs> no, they're not. I bet. The, I bet the, the hype has died down. Probably, but still. We, All right. So this episode, we're not going to talk. I mean, we're going to talk about YouTube, obviously, because as always, we get, we get nothing better to do. We were gonna make a video about malt, about the malt liquor and the and drink, and drink videos on YouTube and that whole subculture. I was gonna make a video about how I gotta feed uh, the people living living in my basement, but you know that's a different story. We were gonna. There are a lot more important subjects that we were gonna talk about. But Saber's not important, so yeah. <laughs> like the whole like the breakdown of uh, like a whole. We were gonna record a commentary for uh, Pizza Holocaust. Because that's one of my favorite Mule Boy videos that I've ever edited, and th- there's a lot, there's a lot going on under the surface of that. But now today, I'm going to talk about why my channel gone, why why the Twitter gone too, and it just has to do with the fact that like yeah, I chose to delete my channel, my Twitter. Um, new year, new me. New year, uh, new me. I'll still be on this podcast because Tav Sad AM is one of the few things that do bring me great joy in my life. I was going Sonic Underground. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kill me, boy! <laughs> Come on. Come on, what's wrong with Sonic Underground? Yeah, Sony. No, what was the name Sonia, of the Sonia, Manic, and Sonic. Manic. <laughs> Manic All was... voiced by Steve Urkel. Manic was not that manic as, as his name suggested. He was like the chill one. They were all voiced by Julio White, even the singing voice. <laughs> no, I think the girl's singing voice was different, but Julio White... I think Jaleel White's scene voice was only for Sonic. I think he managed had the voice for, of Double D or something. I oh, fucking hope not. Um, <laughs> but I am Hotep. You are Headshot. We are not each other. Anyway, so yeah. I deleted my channel. deleted my Twitter. Uh, why? Why did I chose to do this? Well, Why is Danger Rooney hunting me down? Because he wants to... I don't know. Why is did he, Garfield... He, he just should try to follow me on Twitter. Why I am the... I cannot say this on podcast... Well, I'll just let you fill in the blank. Why is he asking me why his liking channel's dead? Why am I not getting suck in this day and age? It's 2018, guys. Come on. The year of suck. It's the year of suck. Actually, here's something suspicious. Why is it the year of dog and the first thing we get is a full moon? Werewolves. Don't look at me. It's the year of the dog and the first... Uh, night of the year of the dog is a god dang That means full every, moon. It, the, the year of the dog, every day you gotta watch one... Doggo video on YouTube. It could be a Shiba, but it can't be the same one. You have to watch 365 different dog videos. And, mo- and monthly, you have to watch a Beethoven film. Yeah. And if you run out of Beethoven films, which you will, because that's half a year of worth of Beethoven films. There are like, a, there's more, no. Oh. It'll be easier. Watch one Airbud film <laughs> every day. Watch one Air. It has to be, if you guys uh, move past it, you guys can watch a Scooby Doo film. That counts. That's a lot of Scooby Doo films because I mean, are we including the new Scooby movies? And all of them. And if it's not Scooby Doo in the title, Shit. then you have to watch every. So, day. Ghoul, by the way, but ghoul, only if you're a year Scooby Doo in the Ghoul School is one of my favorite. Wait a minute, Deer Simulator was born Year of the Dog. Yeah. Because I watch every Scooby Doo film. <laughs> you got, we got to, that, that should have been the gift we gave him this year. We should have uh, sent him. The Scooby Doo uh, collection. But on the top of the Scooby Doo, before you get back on there, so fun fact, guys, this is for people to keep you on with Dragon Ball adds the uh, the Mexican comic. Other than the fact that Gohan Love is only on Gohan Blanco, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to announce that uh, we finally got the SSJ4 form of Red Shaggy. So that's something interesting. Love it. All right, so why did I do it? Well, for a what long time, because you know I had to do it to him. 
So the reason I did it is uh, I was growing. I was just didn't want to do the, my channel anymore, man. Like, uh, I realized that I've reached a point with what I was making that I just decided it was like, I, I think I've, I think I've gone far enough, you know, like. I know I've been making ch jokes about, like, deleting my channel for the longest time on this podcast and using dumb excuses like, oh, next person to comment, bore if I leave my channel because I don't care. And the truth is just, like, it kind of, like, for me, part of the reason I chose to leave my channel or even my, like, online presence outside of this podcast, which is kind of arbitrary, um, is that, like, I just, one... <clears throat> Sorry. It's getting me all choked up. No, uh, part of the reason is I just decided that, like, I, I'd gone far enough. Like, I, I realized, like, all, all the videos I was making was just not what I wanted to do anymore. Like, and even the stuff that I that I would want to go forward with was just something that I felt like didn't fit on the channel. And just, like, I felt like it just didn't go with whatever the channel I'd set up oh, was about, you know. Like, because, I mean, the channel started off as, like, a stupid, I mean, well... It started off with a remake of a friend's, um, like, college video he made, um, which I, I always enjoy and I quote a lot. <laughs> but, I mean, it started off with that. Actually, no, it started off Jeff, with that. With, 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 which we now we have to upload on my channel. Which is fine, because it belongs more on your channel than it does online. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's hard to describe health computer because... I sick, love it. Because, uh, based in reality, I can't tell if it's a documentary or a behind-the-scenes video. Documentaries are behind the scenes videos. Or behind the scenes videos are documentaries. I mean, because it, it is a document of how something was made. So what is so what is this documentary about? Jo the pre the pre product the pre production of that episode this of my not, favorite. You know, we ever put Holocaust. Out this, now here's the thing: Pizza Holocaust now has enough material to be put out as a DVD because we can record a commentary track for it. We can upload the behind the scenes short film. Uh, honestly, I'd I'd be all down to like. Release season one, or I, I would call it volume one of Meal Boy, which is like <coughs> uh, stuff, which is stuff from uh, the Alfredo episode to the uh, Judd Bowling at my set episode. Because honestly, I've honestly thought about doing like commentary charts for Meal Boy. I'd be cool, that'd be fun. I'm down. I d edited most of those videos, so I think that's I think that'd be appropriate. Maybe get like Jod to come in. Maybe. Oh, god, no, Jod would just like hijack that commentary and talk about his. Just getting the suck. I'm no short sneaker. Oh, I love this part. This is where I. This is where I fall down and I explode. I think that was all a special effect. I never exploded. Who's like pretty consistent in those videos? Not Keel. Keel um, was your cameraman for most of those videos. Keel was cameraman for Alfredo, for the Alfredo episode. Uh, Spaghetti never sleeps, and most of them he was your Holocaust. Yeah, I, I, I no, know, no, no. I, I know Mark Col I know Mark Colas was uh, in some of them. I don't know. Anyways, let's. Uh, all right. So, anyways, um, yeah. I just I got I got tired. I got tired of the stuff I was making. And to be fair, um, like I understand that because most of your videos are literally just based off memes and. And it's like I realized that like because I pretty much took a long hard look at like towards the end of the year. I uh, I took a and after I obviously had made um, that that Grinch one, I realized like what the fuck am I doing? Like the I mean, among I mean, mind you. Like Blood on Crumpet is one of my favorite ones because it is um, it is just like yeah I'm, like yeah I inserted a meme last minute but it's also a thing that I was making that I one of my favorite Simpsons bits too but like so what are I we realize pay, so what are we gonna pay for this they change the name to they change the name you know who those real criminals are those scummy Hollywood producers Ugh. no but yeah I just I got tired like it, it's honestly the thing like for me. It came down to having getting the realization that, or having the realization that I was just making like spin-off meme videos, and by doing that, I realized that like I wasn't make like I mean I mean you can have a bunch of fans comment this is true art, but like whether or not that's like real or they're just being ironic or whatever, it's like is is not even part of the question like. Some of them could be genuine when they say, oh, this is real art right here. But it's just like... I mean, your artwork uh, in the later end of the series, especially uh, the episode where, where uh, Orson versus uh, 
Which is John, that was real artwork right there. Yeah, I know. I spent so much time but, painting but, those, robbing Renaissance museums. No, but real talk, though, I think, like... <laughs> I think maybe episode, like... Episode... <laughs> what was it? Episode one and two of uh, season two were actually probably like maybe your best drawn ones. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's, there were just a lot that I enjoyed. I mean, but at the, the same time, the episode that I still quote actually is uh, is the one where Darth Vader starts lean. <laughs> yeah, that's a big. That's that's his, that is most vulnerable. But I mean, part of it too was just like I'll never be your. Queen. I I reached a point with Garfield where. I just didn't want to do it anymore because it was just, like, I, I'd run out of, like, the passion to do it. So I decided just to end it in such an arbitrarily, like, trolly manner. Like, this fucking series began as just, like, one big, like, addition to some, like, larger meme. Spun off into its own thing. Became, like, what I consider a loving parody of, um... Red Suns. Well, I mean, it, it, well, it was. I mean, it's not a tribute. Your to your video was like supposed to be the end all video of like of. So that's of how that's, that's why I saw it. But then the spin off, the the series that came after is for me was like, essentially, what I considered like a loving parody <laughs> to uh, Garfield, like well, to anime tropes. Like it, I just wanted to be like one big like, trip like, tribute to all the dumb tropes that appear in anime, you know, and then I reached a point where it's like. One, the story was getting was the was getting away from me. It was getting too big and too complex, and I really wanted to move on to other stuff. And I thought that if I alternated between non Garfield and not and actual Garfield stuff, I could do it. But then I realized like that's just too much, and I'm really like well, I, the Van Houten tr- the Van Houten tr- uh, trilogy. Is like very like memorable. Especially. No, it's, it's not even based on any memes. You know, that was just like that, that was, was literally like a, that, that was based on a stupid thing. Where just like where I I was like thinking about something about a really dumb scene. Where just like, oh, so did you? So, ah, no, no, Manhattan. So did, like, so, did you come? <laughs> it's like ah, uh, no house. Like, and like, did you well, come here? Like, did, no, it was, it was like, did you come here to milk house? No. I came to Thrill House. <laughs> or I came to Kill House. Mm, or should I say Thrill House? No. Kill House now. Yeah, it's Kill House now. <laughs> like, it, it literally came from a dumb joke. Also, people need to change that TV shows page. Nelson does not have Brooklyn Rage. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do a Chicago accent, people, but if it sounds like you sounds from Brooklyn, I'm sorry. That's my fault. Hey, guys, the man from Boston, I got something to say. <laughs> The boy from the man from Brooklyn. The the man, the boy the man from Boston. Your boy you from call Brooklyn. You Gavin. That bli- What would he say? That limey. <laughs> that limey fuck. He didn't deserve the achievement in the Minecraft video. What you've gone on to say he didn't? I no, because it was a glitch. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. This is back to this is an old, this is a younger Tavo when he used to be entertained by grown by six grown men playing Minecraft on the Xbox. Nowadays, I'm only... Rooster Teeth is falling apart. I mean, people still love Rooster Teeth, but I, I don't care for them at all anymore. I mean, I like this... Uh, I like Rooster Teeth when they, collab- when they collaborate with, like, the Mega 64 boys. Our boys! Rooster- Our boys. Which I killed in a video. That was my loving tribute to them. I just wanted to kill Derek really for the longest time. You really killed someone like Rocco Bodie? I like Rocco. I like Sean. Derek is maybe my least favorite one. Although he has moments where he's literally legitimately funny. When I found out he had a podcast with, I think, who was his girlfriend, where they talk about relationships. It's like, hell no, I'm not listening to this man talk about relationships. He's going to give me the worst advice. It's all about how uh, it's all about how to slam your dick at, at, a, Wal- on, at a Walmart when somebody forgets to pay, give you their cash back or something. <laughs> so that's something you have to listen to. Okay, but yeah, so... For that one. Like I said, I... I gotten tired of my content and what I was making my content for. It just I thought like, what's the newest meme I could joke, I could goof on. I mean, that's what Salt came out of. And I realized like I just didn't want to make this anymore. I mean, one because I mean, I know my videos are based on memes, or at least most of them are. But I really didn't consider my like channel a meme channel. Like I thought like what I did was with memes like, I don't know, push them above it, and then when I found out that, like, mostly 
people in the meme community were coming here and like goofing on them and just like i i really hated it and then when i realized that like a lot of my fans were just here for the memes and were part of like the meme community which have pretty much like disregard now because of how how shitty it's been i mean it's always been shitty but it's gotten shittier lately because of its involvement with politics and it's just like th it, that's it like i loved it back when it was more like nondescript trolling but now that it's like Sp like there's just a specific targets for it. It's just like no, this is dumb and I hate it. And like I mean, that's that's how I feel too. Because honestly, uh, like back when it was just like you you mad and like getting going online and getting people mad regardless of like who they were. Trolling bad good old days of trolling Oprah with over nine thousand. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. Like you like you guys, guys. We have a predicament here. On my message boards, <laughs> someone posted. <laughs> I doesn't lie. Well, I think the quote was like. That we don't sleep, we don't lie or something. We have over 9,000 penises. <laughs> and they're raping everybody out there. Or something oh, like that. Oh. Oprah, we brought this up on like her show. <laughs> I think that's probably, not, that's probably not quote for quote, but that's still like such a such a classic moment. Come on. Well, I, I love that more. I mean, I, I do miss the days of like the old memes of why you know, of, like, the, of the image macros. And How over nine thousand. Why are we? Why are we trying to just like be like edgy with Trump? When, when back in good old days, we used to just kind of had poorly troll. drawn MS Paint vis, and like. we and we'd only just troll Mountain Dew. Why don't we just troll Mountain Dew anymore? <laughs> why don't we troll like we, Chester we, Cheetah on Twitter? We they've gotten out of hand. Now they're now they're trying to join us, and it's no cool. I mean, I don't mind Chester Cheetah. He's always a cool guy. Top ten Cheetahs. Number one, Chester. Would you eat uh, Cheetos popcorn? Uh, that's a thing at uh, at Regal Cinemas now. That's whack. It's it's Cheetos. It's popcorn with, che with almost, Cheeto with Cheeto dust on it, but I'll also eat, mix of Cheetos. I'll mix. I'll make. So uh, would I'll, you eat? Well, imagine you're eating a handful of Cheetos popcorn, and then you crunch into a Cheeto, mid crunch into a popcorn. I love the Cheeto crunch. I don't mind it, but just with yeah. The but like you know, your your mouth is used to eating the softest of a popcorn. But then you first of all, I don't like cheesy popcorn. Well, that's what you're gonna get. I, I, then I already don't like it. Okay. I'd rather just have Cheetos. Uh-huh. But of course, everybody knows the best Cheeto flavor. Come on. Chili lime. Of course. Or... Oh, wait. Or Cheeto fries. Thank you. I was going to just say the best... Like the, For me, the second best is, is Cheeto, Cheeto fries. fries. Uh, I mean, so underrated. And it's, so always on, it's always hidden. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like the forgotten child that when you realize, like, oh, you were here all along. You were great, son. Here's some uh, here's some tech that I learned from Piece of Raw at Second Anime about Cheeto fries. You buy that Lay's Ranch dip and dip it in the Cheeto fries, best thing ever. I'm gonna have to try that now. It's super like creamy, and the spiciness. <laughs> you would like it because it's creamy. I like anything that's creamy. Anyways, yeah. So I like my anime. I like my anime girls extra creamy. It's just I mean I really like mushroom soup. Yeah, like I, I like I know there could be an argument made about well I mean we loved you like and we loved your videos and it's just like. Did you I, like liking or did you like the memes he made? I mean, it's, it's not even that. Like, it's just, I mean, because there were people who were just like, oh, I'll watch whatever you make. And that was sweet of you, but at the same time, it's just like, like, I just, I, I don't want to do this anymore, guys. Like, I don't want to do, like, animations like these anymore. I you mean, know what the, I, like, the worst I, part is that people are going to do, right? Once they, uh, once they hear, like, once they hear, like, eventually when you start making content on, like, your I'm, new they, channel. They, they'll they're just, never know about my new channel. They'll never know uh, about where I post my stuff next because that is private and that's for me. Um, not for... Because I don't want my fans who enjoyed my stuff as Lycan Jones to show up on my new stuff and, like... Say Trump did 9-11 or something. Yeah, and just start doing that and just, like, fuck you guys. No, I'm... It, okay, part of the reason I also wanted to... I chose to do this into the new year is because... I wanted to get back to my roots, my artistic roots, you know, like I, like I went to art school for four years, I have all this education, I mean, I don't consider myself a great artist, which is part of the reason I haven't moved, I haven't achieved any real success, in fact, I considered Lekin Jones to be my most successful um, artistic endeavor. We think it'd be an interesting podcast when we explore your past artistic endeavors. That'd be an interesting one, I can also talk about my... Um, my my adventures in fandoms because I've joined many of them and all of them have ended in fire and oh okay one didn't end in a fire pile but two of them did, um, but yeah I mean it just it, it 
also see- I, I like I realized that like I was getting away from what I considered more serious artistic endeavors. I also, like, all your fans are very decisive about like you making like the Tracer joke and uh, the Steven Universe one too. It, it, like those were goofs, and I, like they know I like those things. Like, but they were but they were super like Steven Universe. I mean, also also they thought the Tracer joke was me being like being against Tracer coming out as is gay and it's just like no that's no I, that was that was more to troll the people who are mad at that Tro- trolls don't trolls are pretty right wing they don't like gay people anyway i know it's i mean well this, again which is why i i don't like yes those are fighting words come on I, again this is this is why i'm i decided like not to do this thing and why i don't want my fans to like find me once I go back to doing stuff that I really care about. So we're not gonna promote it on the podcast. No, don't promote whatever I'm gonna do next on my podcast. I'm that's again private. Again, part of the reason I'm doing this is like I want to get away. Like you, like okay, to my fans. So there were, a lot of you were good boys, and a lot of you who used my uh, work as an inspiration to you. I applaud you, I bless you, and I love you. But I need to move on. I need to go do my own thing. He's like, he's like that. Liking Jones, keep like, go, keep don't. I mean, part of. I mean, it's, it's sort of the reason I like left. I I decided to like end Warstar early, was so I could like one. I got tired of it, and two, I wanted to see what you guys could do, um, to fill in those gaps. Like, you got like it's just I, I wanted to move on, and it's it's I wanted to do something else. And to see if like you got, if I could like present the challenge to you guys to fill in those gaps, and some of you answered the call, and some of you didn't, and that's fine. I don't expect you guys to like do that, but I also like I also don't want people to like be messaging me and commenting on my videos saying, "Hey man, do you need help finishing your stuff?" It's like, no, I don't need help finishing my stuff. It's not that I don't need help. I could do it myself, but I just don't. That's want low key to. just pressuring you. Yeah, it's like the having people saying, "Hey, we should work together," or "Hey." I have... Listen up. Like, collaborating, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, if I want to collaborate, that's cool if you have a project. But I, don't, I also don't want to collaborate because it's a lot of, like, pressure to, like, do something. And I'm not a... I'm not a young person anymore. I'm not in my 20s in college anymore. Or I'm not in my early 20s or late teens anymore being, like, a young person with too much free time. I'm... I'm an old... Like, I'm somebody in, in their late 20s with, like, a real, like, job that they have to worry about every day, you an know? old cook. Yeah, it's just... I have things to do. Like, I... I have, like, responsibilities to take care of. Like, I come home and I, I do... Uh, and, like, I have other things to do. And, like, for me to go back to my old stuff that I was doing, to, like, want to go back to my art school roots, you know, that's... Which is fine because, personally, I... I thought a lot of, like, your short films from, uh... Guys, I just don't, like, I, I, I just don't, like, it, it just came down to, I don't want to do this, I want to go back to my old ways. I spent two years cultivating this channel, and a lot of, like... Listen uh, up, guys. Uh, Mike and Jones paved the way to a new generation, to his generation's up. You guys, as a new generation, have to keep with whatever his, whatever you guys think his spirit was. This man is dead. Yeah, and you guys are gonna have to accept that. Yeah, this is and, and and the ghost of him will just it will obviously co-host this podcast. Because who else am I gonna get to, get to do this? You think I'm gonna get Saber? That Damn dirt, no. that dirty guy. You think I'm gonna get that swine Tarumo? He's a pig. He doesn't talk. Pigs don't speak. The yes, no. Hey, man's not hot. <laughs> hey, that's that's one good pig. Isn't that what they say in Charles Webb? Hey, that's yeah. <laughs> That's for the that'll, whole action. Oh, wait, wait. Or in Bay, that'll do, pig. That'll, that'll do. do. That's what I was saying. That'll do, don't kid. That'll uh, do. Does Tarumo like those pig movies? Is Charles Webb his favorite? He's going to listen to this, so that's the question that he's probably going to have. Tarumo, what's your favorite pig movie? Do you like the? Do you like Babe, or do you like... Uh, oh, wait. Do you like... Out of these four, do you like uh, Babe, Babe 2, Pig in the City, Charlotte's Webb, either one, you know, the Code of Finding Live Action, or... Classic animated, or do you like Animal Farm? I don't want to. I already have a guess on which one he's gonna say. Animal Farm. Yeah. You, commie fuck. Okay. I don't know, but at the same time, Trumo says I don't like. I don't work for communists or Canadians. Because you're mm-hmm. Canadian. Hold on a sec. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Anyways, he's like I don't. He's like guys. I don't. I only don't work for two people: communists and Canadians. Yeah. I mean, so. 
like I said, I mean, you guys, you guys as fans were great. I enjoyed your time. I enjoyed your uh, all the all the encouragement you guys had. But like, I just I, I didn't want to make stuff like this anymore. And I was tired of like receiving messages every day, like on my comments saying, "Oh, top ten anime, blah blah blah." It's just like ah. Oh. Enough of these eighteen-year-olds coming in who just who are just po- shit posting memes and it's just like. Per- I mean, personally, like when I when I make a meme video like the t- like uh, my old like my, my old classic uh, top ten anime of the year. When uh, the funny thing is, no one ever made that joke in that in the comment section of that. But when but on, on the meal boys, I have ended up on four chan. It's, it's always ends up there, and I always kind of just take it with a grain of salt. I'm like, come on, guys. Hold on a sec. I got a question. Mm. Back to your old videos. Important playlist. I got. I, I have a very important question. When you brought up Cory in the House as an anime, was that before the meme that Cory in the House is an anime? Or was that or was that inspired by that meme? It was burgeoning at the time. So it was around the same time. But Dude, did you know about that meme before you made that joke, or was no, that like? No, I just thought Cory in the House was a really just weird show. Like just put but, on there. So you ju- so you were ahead of the curve. In a way. Or I guess in a way I was, because at the time... I had to remember, guys. I honestly, like... Because I remember when you I, I when you went I to... On your sack anime video, you asked those guy, those Mario cosplayers about playing Cory in the House. And they're like, yeah, we're playing Cory in the House in the game room. Yeah, <laughs> as an anime game. And, like, to me... It's funny, because after, after you said that, I started seeing that Cory in the House is an anime, like, meme pop up a lot. And, and I thought, like... It'd be cool... Dad, did you predict the meme? It'd be cool if, like, it turns out I was a forerunner, but at the same time, I don't run, guys. <laughs> The only thing I run is a YouTube, is three YouTube Four channels. Four waddle. I, I waddle to three YouTube channels, guys. Come on. Yeah, that's so. Not, I'm, oh, no, I'm not that large to waddle. Not so, yet. yeah, I mean, that, that's why I did it, guys. Like, I I did it because, like, I got tired of my channel. I got tired of what the what I was making. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want you guys following me around, like, trying to encourage me to, like, make more Borf Star or uh, accost me about making more Borf Star. It's just. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to also... I also didn't want to be associated with the people who are part of these communities that, uh, that like, make these memes. Like, I had to take a step back, take a long, hard look at what I was being... Essentially being part of and realizing that, like, I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to make stuff for this. I, I don't want to... I don't want any part of this anymore. And I, I just realized that, like, I needed to nuke my channel, like... In order to like so have a clean slate, start over. Essentially, it's Did it's. Did you use a fat man or a little boy? Both. Or a little man and fat boy. No man, I go big. Zarbamba. That's actually pretty. That's a. <laughs> that's the biggest one. Now, what what Dragon Ball character blew up your channel, in your opinion? Oh, Piccolo. He blew up the moon. Oh yeah, he did that one. What up? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? He blew up the moon and no one's ever... Ever, uh, like, no, ever just had to turn it back. No one, there were no news reports. Goku didn't say, like, Piccolo, why? And then, like, Yamcha didn't show up, like, Piccolo, why? Kanami didn't show up, like, Piccolo, why? He just casually, you know, it was King a Kai's casual like, blow-up. King Kai's like, Piccolo, why? Did you, I can't do a Teen Kai's voice. Piccolo, why did you do this? Oh, no. Kids turn into a monkey. Don't like monkeys. You could have cut off his tail. I tried that once. Actually, Gohan's tail kept growing back. Motherfucker. He drew, it grew back three times, I think. And Goku's never, has never grown back? Is it because he's half Saiyan? Uh, I don't, okay, so this is going to Saiyan Genetics, and I'm happy that we can finally move up from the podcast. All right, from l- that. L- one, last, one last word. Um, Die. <laughs> please don't bother, Dean. Please don't bother Tav about asking me anything. I, like, don't contact him to ask me stuff. Guys, I want to move on. Like... Uh, Danger, uh, Danger Rooney, uh, is that, is that how you pronounce it? Danger Rooney. Okay, whatever. Anyways, like, I know we were going to collaborate on Paper Towns, but, like, honestly, man, I, I just don't want to, like, and if you're looking for, um... You see, I, I he said, uh, I told him, like, about the mirrors that, that were uploaded, he said he can't find, uh, Orange King wasn't mirrored, though, and that's what he needs. Orange King wasn't mirrored? Yeah, Orange King isn't mirrored. Ah. Oh. So that's the one he tried How is that, I mean, well... I want to, because that's one of the best ones. Hold on. Hold on. If I, I, I'll, well, I'll, I'm saying, there's there's a whole like comp, movie compilation. Of, of, all right. From fine, what I remember, I'll, that's I, from what I've seen. That's only like uh, it's only up until Arlo and Avenger. Those are only. No, until they're, 
there's there was one there was a more recent one that's uh that was all them uh, all of them all the most recent ones. I remember it was like D D P K. I'll find it. Okay, we'll find it. Uh, dude, we'll find it. You can have and you you can use that as like your template. But like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. Like I I know I I know I said I'd help you with uh, paper towns, but like. I, I, I really don't like Yo, it. shout out to Papito who was making the animated version. You know some fools uploaded all three of your episodes into one comp- compilation. His name's Marvin Animation, right? Or the different guy? That's a different guy. Oh, it's no, Marvin no. Animation. Oh, he'll, he, his style looks kind of similar. Yeah, a little bit. It, it, his is a bit more... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're dumb, guy. It's Fist of the Borf Star Complete. Even has Paper Towns in it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's the one. Oh, like in Jones, for this board for one and two. Come on. There's there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of them out there. There's a whole bunch of like complete like uh, compilations. Put there's a whole bunch of videos that I've compiled it. Okay, so it's out there if you need it. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry that like I I said I I help you with like uh, help you with paper towns because those backgrounds are kind of complex. But like, would you at least send them to? Them? I you know I do have my Dropbox. I'll put all the videos in my Dropbox later. You guys can uh, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want with them. Up, re-upload them. I'll they're they're yours. I'll they're fucking it. yours. They've been yours, guys. I. Uh, you guys even monetize them, and then I'll sue. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Then they'll, then I'll tell Jim Davis, and then you, there you go. And then I won't be the one who's gonna cut you guys in the end. It'll be Jim Davis. You guys will have to fight the most powerful Garfield <laughs> lover. <laughs> Come yeah. On. Um. But yeah, I mean, like you know, like I said, like you guys were great until, and then it was, and it was good until it wasn't, and then when I realized it wasn't anymore, I realized I needed to get out. Just like, just like all Olympic runners and Olympics, Lightning Jones has to pass the torch on to the next guy, and we'll tear people like Danger Rooney and uh, Beautiful Duane. You guys are now the new torch bearers, and it's your job to carry that onto your guys' position. Yeah, you guys are doing. You're, you guys are doing a great work. You don't need me to make more barf star. You guys can can make more barf star. You guys can do whatever you want. But what sort of you think? If you want to make barf star episode eight, who's stopping you guys? Yeah, I I keep I've said that for like the longest time. Um, but I'll make barf star episode eight in live action. I'll be all the characters. I would pay so much money. Do you have a Patreon? No. Oh fuck. All right, guys. You have a PayPal I can donate to? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, sorry, guys. I did it. It's done. I'm moving on. Don't bother Tab about me. You guys bother me um, about Patreon. Give me 2,000 subs and maybe I'll open one. Also, okay, adjusting the Patreon thing. I know you guys wanted me to make a Patreon because that way... Because you guys think that if by by making Borfstar my full-time job, I will do it. make Borfstar. I that was a, that's that what, was the wor- that is the nightmare c- scenario right there, guys. Team. That is the, for for me that is the end game. So the idea of like having Borfstar be my job would have been awful. Cause one, I'm in so much student th- that you guys would not have been able to like help me pay my bills and uh and my living expenses and like by making my stupid like Garfield meme cartoons. Okay. I, I mean personally like. Personally, I've I've considered like I'm, no offense to Saber, but don't open up the don't open up the Patreon just yet. Yeah, so I, don't like Patreon was never on the table. I mean, there was a point where I thought Patreon might have been as like a supplement to my job and maybe move to like, a part time and then have like, pretty much do like ha- like have my channel be, like my main like my second source of secondary source of income and then have like a part time so I can have more time to work I on mean, my channel. And that's I, kind of my uh, milestone right now to where I have enough support to where people will actually want me to keep doing it. And I'll just hold down like uh, my part time and then just have the Patreon open as like kind of the second thing. Yeah, I mean and that's a good move because like you know you if all else fails you have a real job in the in in the meat space to like support you. But that was never going to be a thing for me. Like. As much as popular as Lycan Jones got, it was never going to be a thing. Like, and that's all I'm going to say about it, guys. So, thanks for all your support of, over the last two years. I'm glad you guys enjoyed my content until I stopped enjoying it. I'm glad, you, um, I'm glad no one enjoys my content. I enjoy it. None of your, fan, none of your fans only explore past uh, podcasts. Because... Except I'm the uh, I'm the. You guys are missing out on some quality content here. I'm the uh, I can't 
I, I'll say in, I'll say the Spanish pronunciation. I'm the Negro is Uno. He likes uh, he likes my content. He's always bothering me about like meal boy stuff. I appreciate. Hell him. yeah. I don't appreciate his name too much, but you know. Yeah. If he's uh, if he's Negro in color like an edge lord, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, so. Thanks for all your support, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, so that's it. We're we're moving on here. Time you know? to old, not old the other the channel.